Uh, my name is Evelyn Kelleher and I am a lecturer here in the School of Nursing in DCU, predominantly on the general uh, strand of the BSc programme, mm -hmm. but I'm also the manager of the Clinical Education Centre. Certainly here in the School of Nursing and Human Sciences we have embraced it and my position here as the skills manager for the last three years we certainly have moved aspects of our teaching and assessment um, I suppose forward with technology or we've certainly attempted to do it not without its difficulties but um, we have embraced it and we have outputs from that in particular with that um, assessment aspects. Mm -hmm. um, our nurses, due to the nature of their, um, I suppose, their course, mm -hmm. it's very practically based, so they need to be assessed practically. Mm -hmm. And we have over 200 students intake each year, so each of those students have to be assessed individually. Um, and traditionally we've assessed them face to face, so we've been able to move um, video uh, assessment forward, so technology has certainly come into that. So, so yeah, video has, has, has been transformative, I suppose. Um, Massively transformed it. Good. Well, if, if, I, if I just move back to the, the module that we have piloted it in and it's now running for the second time, um, we've used it for an assessment aspect where we've over 200 students and they're each assessed doing a skill which can take 15 minutes. So we might have up to 10 different assessors um, and students are assigned a time frame to come in to be assessed. So from the student's perspective, they're told a time, they're told a date and they have one off opportunity to perform and that's it. So it doesn't allow them a second chance. Whereas with the video, they can record it as many times as they want, so they can practice as many times as they want. So it allows them a little bit of control and also allows them the opportunity to practice their skill, perfect their skill. Um, certainly from uh, an assessor point of view, um, 10 different assessors, inconsistency with marks, no ability to replay to see why they give the mark, whereas the video, one assessor you can see why you give the marks. An, an external examiner can see why you give the mark. So it, it um, helps uh, bring consistency. From massively, the yeah. Consistency would be one of the, I suppose, the main reasons that we would have looked at it, along with a lot of others. But uh, there, there was issues with consistency or inconsistency with uh, quite a large number of assessors. Mm -hmm. um, and over a two day period where you get tired. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and obviously, you lose concentration maybe after a few hours, which is natural, so you're not too sure what you're assessing to some extent, but also um, nobody else can see why you give the mark, and yeah. students can't query why they were given the mark. So the video was very easy then to look back on, and the reason why, uh, I suppose an external could see why I give the mark to a student. So, so video, I guess, um, being able to use video in that way has really strength, strengthened the feedback system on, on both sides. Though. Well, it has allowed proper feedback beforehand as the module coordinator, who probably wouldn't be assessing because I'd be coordinating, mm -hmm. I could only give the feedback of somebody else's assessment. Mm -hmm. So uh, an assessor came in, did the assessment, and I have a student sitting in front of me, and I could only say, well, this is the reason why your assessor gives the mark. Mm -hmm. Whereas now I can have the video playing and I can say, well, that's the reason why you got the mark. You can see where you did something really well or you can see why you didn't get the mark. So it, it's very clear cut. Mm -hmm. They have, because the particular group of students we piloted in first semester last year, they had face-to-face -face OSCEs second semester. So we have surveyed them as to which they preferred and the reasons and um, we've got the data there to, I suppose, support the use of the videos. Um, over 95% of them very clearly preferred the video recording. And the reasons were it wasn't a one-off. If they froze, they could redo it. And more importantly, they said they could practice and also perfect their assessment. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's the nature of the skills to yeah. practice. It's, it's, it's funny. The particular skill that we piloted was hand washing. So we had a very clear guidelines on the procedure, 
but we also had, had to have very clear guidelines on um, what we expected from them as far as professionalism, the need to be dressed in their uniform, and then aspects that needed to be recorded. So in other words, if your buddy is video recording you and you miss an aspect, well, you didn't get the mark, so it had to be captured. So to some extent, there was a, a big responsibility on the buddy to, to capture everything. Um, and I know that that was a little bit of a problem initially because some students said, well, I performed perfectly, but they just missed it. But that's, that's life, do you know, they need yeah. to just <laughs> work well together. So I suppose it helped yeah, that the... Like, sorry. That'll p it'll pick up. <laughs> Um, so we were very clear on the guidelines we give the students and I suppose to some extent um, second time around there was a few things that I would have put in that I didn't put in first time that made it easier for them. Um, very clear that they needed a buddy, they needed a second person, very clear on where they needed to record it as in, in the clinical education centre in here and very clear on the aspects, the angles we needed to see um, and what they needed to wear. And that was actually the recording bit, but then there was the guidelines on uploading it, so that then we could see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I suppose there's very clearly the two different angles. Mm -hmm. um, the actual recording of it was, I suppose, the headache of getting the marks, but for us to be able to assess it mm -hmm. as uh, lecturers, we needed it brought into loop. Mm -hmm. um, so very clear guidelines on both. I suppose the challenges are you need somebody who's very technically minded as uh, a help um, if you're running into problems. So if students are saying, uh, you know, I can't upload it, I'm not a technologist, so I need somebody to refer them to. If they upload it in a sideways or upside down, I need somebody to be able to turn it for me or to give them very clear, clear guidelines on how to record it in, in the first instance. And I suppose that's still something that I'm not too sure about because I'm not technically minded. Yeah. Um, I know what is needed from the skill, from a lecturer point of view. So I can give the students those guidelines, but the technical bit I would need the support from. Yeah. So I suppose whether it's from a technologist or from wherever, so it's, That's the it's primarily technical challenges then? Technical think? challenges would be the only challenges I would see okay. as, as a problem to me. Well, that's great to hear because that hopefully those are the ones that it can are be easiest over. to just get rid of. Yeah. Like yeah. It should, it shouldn't, it should, it, people shouldn't be able to press a button. Yeah. That's, that's where it needs to be. I mean, it's very time consuming. You have to have, I suppose mm. it's like writing a script for a play. There's a lot of things that you might not have to spell out mm -hmm. when you're getting an experienced lecturer to assess. But when you're asking a student to video record them, you need to make sure you've covered all angles. But ultimately that uh, has, you know, when that's ironed out, there are so many other advantages to the video yeah, yeah. from uh, a lecturer point of view, from a student point of view, and from a results point of view and being able to be consistent Absolutely. and stand by your mark. So um, just, to, just to come full circle then, um, I, th I mean, broadly speaking then, what would you say the pedagogical advantages to um, to using video that you have found so far have been? Okay, so if I start from the result that I give the student and the advantages to having a video of their performance, um, I can stand by the mark I give the student. I can also stand by the consistency of the marks given to all the students because I'm the only corrector there, I'm the only marker and also um, I have one standard for all students. Um, when the results then go to an external moderator, she can see the video and the reason very clearly why there was marks given. Um, also then in relation to the students, um, they're performing a skill and perfecting the skill. So to some extent that's what nursing is about. being. Uh, perfecting the skill and that's what we'd like the students to do but they don't always do it. They come in and just hope for the best during the assessment whereas if they can watch their own video and see why something may not be right they can change it. Whereas if they're hoping that maybe their colleague or their friend is watching them 
or they're doing it and thinking, well, that seems okay. They have nothing to watch afterwards. Um, so that that would be, I suppose, two very clear reasons. Um, and then from the point of view of just the administrative end of 200 odd students and at least two days with at least 10 assessors, that's a headache in itself. Um, and assigning students to times of days that may not suit them or for some reason they get sick, um, it takes away that headache completely. Um, so at a number of different levels, um, recording a, a practical assessment on a video um, makes an awful lot more sense from an assessment point of view. Okay, I mean, using a video for a, a practical assessment in the School of Nursing and Human Sciences in DCU has been an advantage from the point of view of um, the consistency of marks for students. Um, the student's ability to be able to continually practice and perfect their skill and from the administrative end of uh, the actual assessment uh, as a lecture it can be a headache for 220 students and 10 assessors so the video recording makes it much much more user friendly and easier.